Man City versus Brighton. Oysters are Man City. Turkey Tale is Brighton. A mycological tale of two philosophies. In the grand, sprawling stadium of the fungal kingdom, not all players are created equal. There are the superstars, the global giants whose names are on everyone's lips, and then there are the sophisticated artisans, the cult favorites cherished by the connoisseurs. To understand this dynamic, one need look no further than two of the most celebrated mushrooms in modern mycology, the oyster and the turkey tail. If the fungal world had a premier league, the oyster mushroom would be Manchester City, a dominant, prolific, and commercially unstoppable force. And turkey tail? It would be Brighton and Damp, Hove Albion, a masterclass in tactical nuance, subtle beauty, and profound, understated impact. Manchester City, under Pep Guardiola, is a machine of relentless efficiency. Their philosophy is one of possession, pressure, and overwhelming offensive force. They are not just playing to win. They are playing to dominate every blade of grass on the pitch. This is the oyster mushroom. Pleurotus ostritus is the city of mycology. It is a conqueror. Its primary strategy is one of aggressive, rapid colonization. Given a substrate, be a log a stack of straw, or a bag of coffee grounds. It moves with the speed and certainty of a Kevin De Bruyne through ball, establishing its mycelial network with an unyielding grip. Its fruiting is a spectacle of explosive abundance. Where one oyster mushroom appears, a dozen more will follow, cascading in a flush of sheer, unadulterated productivity. It is the cornerstone of commercial cultivation for a reason. It is reliable, fast, and delivers a high, predictable yield. It doesn't mess around with subtlety. Its goal is to grow, to fruit, and to nourish, and it does so with the ruthless efficiency of a title-chasing football club. It is the powerhouse, the workhorse, the undisputed champion of the dinner plate. Then there is Brighton. For years, they were an unassuming club, but under a visionary manager, they have become the darlings of the tactical purists. They don't necessarily dominate possession in the same way City does, but every pass Every movement is deliberate, intelligent, and beautiful in its execution. They play a game of intricate patterns, of finding space where none appears to exist, and of wearing down opponents with intellect and precision. This, in every way, is turkey tail. Tramit's versicolor is not a mushroom of brute force. You will not find it in a clamshell at the supermarket, nor will you cook it into a hearty stew. Its beauty is not in its bulk, but in its breathtaking surface. A concentric display of contrasting bands, rust, brown, white, blue, and green. Earning it its name, it looks like the plume tail of a wild turkey. It is the artist of the forest floor. But like Brighton's intricate play, turkey tail's true genius lies beneath the surface. While oyster is all about feeding the body, turkey tail is about fortifying the body's very defense system. It is a master of chemical warfare and healing, producing a complex arsenal of polysaccharides, most notably PSK and PSP, which are renowned for their powerful immunomodulating properties. It doesn't overwhelm you with nutrition. It works subtly, systematically, supporting your internal systems to fight their own battles. It is the ultimate defender, the quiet guardian. It grows slowly on dead hardwood, a patient and persistent force that breaks down tough lignin contributing to the health of the entire forest ecosystem. Its impact is not a sudden, delicious meal, but a long-term, foundational contribution to well-being, both for the individual who consumes it and the environment it inhabits. The comparison extends to their relationship with humanity. Manchester City is a global brand, a commercial behemoth. Its matches are broadcast worldwide. Its merchandise is ubiquitous, and its players are household names. The oyster mushroom is the same. It is the gateway mushroom for nearly every new cultivator. It is the star of farmer's markets and the feature of countless culinary dishes. Its purpose is direct, accessible, and universally understood. Good, fresh food. You don't need a degree to appreciate an oyster mushroom. You just need a pan and some butter. Brighton, on the other hand, is a club for thinkers. Fans appreciate the how as much as the what They revel in the tactical subtleties, the intelligent positioning, the beautiful geometry of their play. Turkey tail is a mushroom for the mycological deep divers and the wellness seekers. To appreciate it, 
you must understand its context. You need to know about mycochemistry, about the immune system, about the quiet, vital role of saprophytic fungi. Its value is not in its immediate taste, but in its long-term potential. It is forged by herbalists, studied by scientists, and revered by those who seek not just to eat, but to heal. Ultimately, we need both. A league of only Manchester City would be powerful, perhaps, but predictable and lacking in soul. A league of only Brightons would be beautiful to watch, but perhaps lacking the cutting edge to deliver decisive results. In the forest and in our lives, the oyster provides essential sustenance, the caloric energy to keep us going. It is the foundation of survival, but the turkey tail provides a resilience, the intelligent defense, the subtle support that allows us to thrive, not just survive. It is a foundation of well-being. So, the next time you walk through the woods, see them for what they are. The oyster charging forth a Holland strike, a promise of immediate, tangible reward. And the turkey tail... Clinging to his log like a Brighton fullback, executing a perfect pass. A reminder that the most profound impacts are often the quietest, most intricate, and most beautiful of all. One is a roaring anthem of success. The other, a complex symphony of life. And together, they make the game and the world infinitely richer.